towed by a small plane, the Perlan 2 glider with two pilots on board slowly ascends into the Argentinian sky. At about 3,000 meters, they release the towing cable and start looking for strong updrafts of air, called the mountain waves, to take them much higher. On September 3rd, they managed to reach 15,902 meters, beating the previous world record for gliders by 441 meters. <laughs> Speaking from Argentina via Skype, Chief Pilot Jim Payne says it took 11 flights to reach that goal. And basically, we take steps of a certain amount of altitude and airspeed gather data, analyze that data, and if those data conform to our theory and the model that we have for the airplane, then we can safely go on to the next step. Onboard cameras took spectacular footage, though the pilots were too busy to enjoy the view. There's no engine to fight any turbulence they may encounter. And even though the airspeed indicator shows the speed of only 80 to 90 kilometers per hour, the true airspeed can be much higher and the wings may flutter to the point of braking. Also, it's very cold up there. We have electric socks on the pilots. Uh, we literally could not fly without those electric socks. We would get frostbite. And uh, heated vests, and uh, we're looking at uh, upgrading our heating systems for next year because cold is, is the big issue that we've been dealing with this year. Perlin 2 is made of special type of light carbon fiber with enhanced mechanical properties. Airbus helped in its assembly and transport to Argentina. The company hopes the project will attract young people to science and technology. We want to actually grab the next group of pilots, engineers, mechanics, uh, airport operators, flight attendants, basically kids that are in high school and university right now that may not have considered aerospace as a career and we want to inspire them. Pilots hope that eventually they will be able to break the world record in level flight of 25,929 meters, set in 1979 by the U.S. spy plane SR-71 Blackbird. They also plan to turn their aircraft into a non-polluting stratospheric research platform. George Putich, VOA News.